What's up everyone? For this Tech Tuesday, we're gonna go over our front splitter on the SCR1 and show you how much downforce and how depressing this splitter actually is. We work really closely with a company called Professional Awesome. The boys at Professional Awesome have been amazing for getting us all the hardware, ramps, and everything to get the splitter attached to the car and fasten and be very easy to take off within seconds so we can load it in and out of the trailer and also make very quick adjustments while on the fly. The Professional Awesome splitter quick release attachments go right here. These are the main load bearing points of the splitter. These we have plates welded to the bumper rebar. They have adjustable holes on them so that we can raise and lower the splitter relatively easy within a few minutes. On the front, you'll see we have the clevises for the quick release rods. These are on pins that pull off within seconds so we can move the splitter up and down. On the carbon fiber rods, you'll see there's a slip nut here. Cracking this easily adjusts this up and down so we can move the splitter and change the angle depending on the track, the conditions, and whatever else we're doing. These pins quickly pull out and easily let the splitter come off when we need to load it into the trailer. Here you see a latching mechanism that all we do is pull this and it quickly releases the back of the splitter. So like I said before, there's one here, one there, pull these pins and within seconds, the splitter is off the car. It is also just as easy to change. You'll see the sides here, we have splitter ramps. These ramps allow the air underneath the splitter to act like a diffuser, a mini front diffuser in the front. This brings the air up into the wheel well and then out the wheels. This creates downforce, an immense amount of downforce for just acting on the outside of the splitter that normally wouldn't really be used because the wheels are right there. We've done some CNC etching to create some weight savings in the splitter also to reduce the total weight. So all in all, the splitter doesn't weigh very much. At the front, we have our air dam. This takes up the gap between the bottom of the bumper and the splitter. And it's a vertical face, so that way you can adjust the height of the splitter and still maintain that sealed gap on the front bumper. It's on slightly elongated holes, so if you're changing bumpers, slightly different manufacturers, or this moves in and out a little bit when installing a new one, you can move the fence really easily. One of the big things we noticed when we were in the wind tunnel is having a radius edge on the front of the splitter made a huge difference. When the air passes over the splitter, you want to create as little possibilities for the air to separate from the splitter. You want to keep it attached, that way it maintains the downforce that it has. As soon as the air becomes detached, the splitter becomes unaffected. So one of the things that we've done to maintain that to air attachment is recess the splitter quick release mounts, so they're flush to the bottom. Also recess the splitter ramps, so there's no place for the air to detach. We use very small button head Allen head bolts, that way the air can pass over them smoothly. Another thing we implemented from Professional Awesome is their titanium skid pucks. These titanium pucks come in handy when you bump an apex or have a bump in the track that causes the splitter to touch the ground. These are replaceable and saves your splitter. As you can see, we've already worn off a little bit on these ones. We've switched these from another splitter, so they're, that's why they're not straight. But these are a huge saving because to have this whole thing get smashed, it's kind of expensive. So between these pucks, the carbon fiber rods split and not break or bend and take off that shock. So that way the splitter can deform and come right back to its original state without messing up the aerodynamics. On the bumper, you'll see that we have these plates. These plates bolt to these latches. And this is bolted up to the car. And as you can see, it's welded to the rebar. These allow different height adjustability on the car. So we can change the height of the splitter pretty relatively easily. These latches are what we use for mounting the splitter. Quick, simple latch design. When you put the splitter on, now the splitter's attached to the car. Again, quick release, super easy to change. Professional Awesome really nailed it with the hardware on this splitter, and have really helped us out huge with this to make a really nice, clean design to install on the SCR1. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and follow us on this prototyping journey with the SCR1.